It was a chance to talk about what was to come and the dangers that may lie ahead. It's you who can actually lift the blockade if you put pressure on your local government, on your regional government, on your national government. Members and supporters of the Freedom Flotilla at the dockside in Corsica, knowing that attempts to break the Israeli sea blockade of Gaza generally don't end well. The ship is called Al Auda, meaning the return in Arabic. It started its journey in Norway. It's a lumbering former Arctic fishing trawler, not exactly designed for the heat of a Mediterranean summer and takes some maintenance to keep it moving. The crew and activists on board are from around the world. On this leg, there are Norwegians, Malaysians, one Algerian, and an Israeli citizen, horrified at what's been happening to Gaza. I think it's our obligation as you know, people who know what happens, and especially as somebody raised on the, you know, on the memory of the Holocaust and how you know, the world was silent when people were being gassed to death. So we cannot be silent when something like this is being done to other people. It takes a brave soul to make this trip, knowing how bad it can go. In 2010, a similar aid flotilla was stormed by Israeli commandos. The Mavi Marmara, the lead boat, took the brunt of an assault that ended up killing 10 people, all of them Turkish nationals. Israel said their forces were attacked. The people on board say the Israelis shot first. The people making this trip are dedicated and also dismissive of the risks they may face when they reach Gaza. By the time this boat, the Ala Alda, leaves Palermo on the last leg, it'll be joined by three others. In total, there's going to be some 50 people plus trying to break that Israeli blockade around the Gaza Strip. Other flotillas have been halted by the Israeli forces many nautical miles from the Gaza shore. The mainly Norwegian crew have done this journey before and are very clear about their motivations. We can choose to show our solidarity. They cannot choose to go away from Gaza. This is the problem. It's a blockade. It can be very dangerous, but it's not as dangerous as living in Gaza. Some of the activists are not going the whole way this time, but have tried before. Dr. Fauzia Hassan was a doctor on board a women's flotilla two years ago that was stopped and impounded. In Malaysia, it was hot news because I was the only representative on the flotilla. So there are, it, it, it opens up many people's eyes and we hope the uh, support, uh, more and more people come and support for the Palestinian cause. At the back of everyone's mind is the awareness that a peaceful protest like this could go tragically wrong. Reaching Gaza at the end of the month is the stated aim but no one on board is really expecting a boat called the Return to ever make it out of Israeli waters. Francis Collings, TRT World, in the Eastern Mediterranean.